Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs, and this is Gundam Battle Operation 2. Uh, this is another video donated by MS Bop, aka Maelstrom. Uh, he's got the level 1 Gym Striker, I think it is, and he is really good with it, so... Uh, he sent me a video to show off some of the combos it can pull off, and I much appreciate it because... I tried out that Gym Striker you saw me pull in my uh, Gotcha 10 spin on uh, Saturday, and I'm terrible with it so far. It I need some practice, and I need to attack from better angles, because I am really good at getting myself tackled at this point. But that's just how it goes for me with those, usually. So Let's see, team is... looks like a Zaku, looks like a Gundam, two Zaku, one Snipers, and a Goof. Um, if you logged in every day, and the rollover is at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, in case you're interested, but if you've logged in every day since the beginning, uh, today is the day that you uh, can get your level 5 Zaku 2, which is a hearty little beast for 300 points. It's not, you know, it's nothing outstanding, but it is definitely uh, good. So... Yeah, uh, it's it's worth it if you've been logging in and, you, you know, just make sure you, get, uh, you at least log in once a day and then pick the log out on uh, the main menu, which is, or on the options menu in the uh, Haro, because that way you'll save and quit. Or play at least one match and that should save it for you as well. But, yeah, so that's, it's good. And yeah, he's using the twin beam spear, which, as I can I can see, gets two swings, so you can get a four hit saber combo with that. Uh, the uh, beam scythe only gets one shot, so yeah, and this is how most of my melee is gone too, except all the people around me using enemies instead of allies. I'm really bad at picking my shots so far. Uh, looks like there is a pilot overhead. And everyone's trying to shoot it, but oh man, nice! Sliced him right out of the air. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Bop is really good, but uh, on Twitch he is, uh, I believe, Savage Maelstrom. I will be including a link to his channel in the uh, description to this video. And ah, there's a good shot. Yep, he got it. I'm watching this for the first time as I uh, as I uh, record this voiceover. So, but yeah, with the uh, with the striker's uh, twin beam spear, you can do a four-hit melee combo, as he just did. So, swing uh, down an attack for the thrust, followed by uh, two beam saber swings, and you're good. Um, one thing we, uh, discovered is, okay, we've been playing games with, uh, uh, Duchess Snow for, you know, months now, Bop, Avocado, Zala, and I, and whoever else drops in, and we forgot that, you know, she's been playing with us for a while now, but she has not been playing, she never played Gundam Battle Operation 1, so she did not know the trick of using a, uh, quick backdash to cancel out of a, uh, of a uh, downswing animation, so we uh, we you know finally uh, finally thought to actually tell her because yeah we're you know it's based on a system we've been playing for five years so we know the ins and outs of it but we don't always remember to uh, communicate them so that's you know that's on us it happens but and it's something it's something that took me years to figure out i remember just it being such a revelation at around like year 2 or 3 when i figured out how the uh, dom combo works so the beam scythe i uh, like i said it only gets one swing i don't think it has as much range as the twin beam spear hopefully it does enough damage to make up for it but i'm honestly not sure i may try the spear for a while because I think that extra reach is really... Oh, man, lucky. I, I think that extra reach is really beneficial, because I am uh, not doing too well with the striker right now. But yeah, as you can see, you can get a lot of rapid hits in with that, and if, uh, if someone had been in that, it would have been well and truly still stunned by the time the... Uh, 
a uh, second pair of hits came in. Yeah, good call. Gelgood stalking him. Someone hit him from a little bit behind, or he's got support fire that didn't quite work out. I think it's a support fire that didn't quite work out, but... Oh, he got the t uh, they got the tackle off, which again, is what happens to me almost every time. Which, again, cute trick when they're behind your shoulder like that, but what can you do? Um, well, Bop can do a lot more than I can, but that's just the nature of the beast. Okay, right. Yeah, did you get the kill? Weird. But you got the assist, so take it. And he's almost out of health and almost out of legs. Um, I'd be one that would be tempted to go after that checkpoint there and set down for repairs, but with that sniper at the mouth of the tunnel, it's really not going to do much good anyway. Oh man, nice boost up the side of the hill. Oh, now that is a, an interesting place to go repair. Yeah, a little bit of a lurch there. He warned me about that, but nothing major. I have lurches all the time. Sometimes they're encoding, sometimes they're actually... On the PS3, they were actually during gameplay at points, but... Let's see. I think... Well, one of them... Yep, at least one of them noticed him, so it's... He doesn't really have a good way to escape, so if he can wait until they get up around the hill... Nope. But the other ones aren't facing him, which gives him half a chance of doing something. Stabbing through his allies to do it, but... And he's dead. I've... To be honest, I've done a lot of stabbing through my allies at, at, at times in the uh, Jim Striker as well. It's kind of difficult not to because it's got all that range. Well, some, they got C, somebody else took D, that's, you know. That, that's the circle of life, I suppose. Right. Okay, airstrike incoming. He may not, yeah, I was about to say, he may not get a chance to get swinging on that, but. We're still trying to figure out if friendly airstrikes damage your mobile suit. Um, it at least stuns uh, the heck out of it, but I don't know about anything more than that. Gilgug incoming. Actually, that's more than a grace. That took about half his health. That's got to be a relatively... I know that only the level 1 and 2 Gundam and Gelgug are in the game, but it may be, uh, it may be that, uh, man, nice combo. I wonder if the beam rifle's up to level, uh, higher than level, uh, 2? I don't know. But I have, uh, some things we have found out, um, the Gundam, uh, well, for one thing, Gundam beam rifle with super napalm is in the game. I've seen a couple of people using that. Man, he gets all the people who don't know how and when to tackle. I wish I got to play with those people. The people I play with are just tackling geniuses. But such is life, I suppose. Man, that tackle took a shield, but... Ow. And he gets priority in an exchange like that, and I never do, which... Man... Also, you may notice something I discovered the other day. Uh, look at his, uh, look at his health indicator there. See the little blue arrow that says speed? When your shield is destroyed, you get a speed boost. Did not know that until now. Yep, time for guns. Because he's got more health than the other guy. Well, well, he did. No, nope, he's not going to make that one, sadly. Oh, man, he made it. Nice last second kill. But, okay, the other thing I discovered that you will probably want to know, or actually, B uh, Bop and I did the research together uh, on Friday evening, I think it was. Uh, that thing at the end of the matches that says, like, 1-7, or, you know, depending on which what you have, 2-7, 5-7, whatever, uh, that is based on the, uh, that is a bonus for the number of mobile suits from a special list that you own. Currently, the list includes the Gundam Ground type, which is what Bop has, which is why he gets the one of seven, and also the Gundam, the Gelgoog, the Power Gym, and the Dom Tropin. So all the things you, that are really difficult to get or you have had to pay for. So I'm running long again, but that is what that counter is, so... You know, don't stress about stalking Gundams. It is not a targeted MS bonus like it was in the demo, so or in the beta. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back tomorrow with more of my own footage. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! <laughs>